So a couple of jobs on this one. We've got this top to replace. We've got the waist to replace. Because um, at the moment it's working on this lever and it's no good. So we've got the taps placed, that replaced. And we're taking each tap out and putting in standard radiator. So saying that is not good enough to warm up the bathroom. So yeah, you get drained down, get this one out, new rad, and sort the base and bed still out. This week we're going to do some plumbing that would have been so much easier if the last plumber had just thought about their next plumber. So yeah, we've got a few repairs in there. And one of the I was thinking, if you just done this right the first time, I wouldn't be having these problems. So take a look at the jobs. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. A uh, little announcement at the end to do with the 10k giveaway. I know we're not there yet, but stay tuned until the end. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that button. Any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Make sure you like the video. And yeah, let's take a look at these plumbing repairs. Drain this one there, and we've got this. That's a condensate pump hose. That is really good if you get your hands on one because it fits these type of valves or any smaller ones that your orange one won't go on. Perfect. And what we did then is just open. Yeah, that should fit onto there. Come on, open that up. It's got a full bore drain off on there. There we go. Not a very good filter, I mean, but that's the magnet free. I don't know what else going to collect, but hey ho. But yeah, getting the border drain down. We've got the plate seals doing there and the auto air vent. Let's crack on upstairs first, then we'll come back to this later. So we still red, nice and easy. All we've got to do is turn that valves off under these two nuts, um, and that'll lock it off so now water comes out the bottom of it. Now we've got to do is take out the screws, there's four of them. We've got one more to do, and then that will just come straight off the wall. Easy peasy. There you go, that is ready now. See this there, it's not going to get any water anyway because it's locked off from the valves. That's the radiator all off. You can see we started to get the brackets off the walls. Very simple again. Just screw on top, undo that. This will pull out. Screw behind there, undo that. There you go, that is all the brackets off. Just got to get a new one on the wall. Now I've done plenty of videos here to hang grad, so. I'll just hang this one and show you how to do the pipe work. That's the radiator all done. That one just went straight in and that one. Bit of pipe. Give it a kick. There you go. It's all done. With these, I've just um, hammered them into the wall. I'll get some filler over the old holes. Next up is getting this out and it looks rusty to hell. This is going to be fun and I don't think I'm going really to get this pedestal out. Are they used fixings? No, there's no fixings in that sink so. Can't even take the pedestal there because that thing will just drop. Brilliant. So we just use the nail red spanner, look at that. Shave the bolt straight off, how rusty that is. Yeah, just gonna just gonna be on cold now. And that'll just that'll just pull out. Now I've got to get that out of me spanner. Pull them out of the push fit. There we go. That's the old top out. Give that a clean up then uh, see if we can do this uh, waste. So we did manage to get a man in there in the back side of the camera angle is rubbish but yeah that is disconnecting which it's supposed to be. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. That's that out anyway. Traps out, waste out. But look, one of my favourite substance. Right there, silicon. Each the wrong but I hate silicon on waste because that's going to be a pain there to try and scrape all that out. Now, make sure we waste. We've got an old flow here, the slotted waste. Because obviously, that's the old flow there. And that's going like that. And that's the seal that comes with it. If you know me, don't use them. Use these. Base and mate. And they are hard to get on, but these are brilliant. Seal up every time, so let's try and get this on. It is going to be tight that. Best angle I can get for you. But basically, mate, I've put a bit of silicon grease on there. Try and maneuver it up into that now. It's calm, thinner solar calm up into it. So that's a lot easier with silicon grease. Then you put your collar on. 
Nee, geht nicht. Ich mal Box bannen. Das ist einfach auch geworden. The 50 mil box man I ain't really fitting on there so do as much as I can with my hands and get my big grips in there I think it's got nothing in with the bloody pistol all these for the win. I mean that'll go up to about 50, 50 odd mil. 54 mil. So yeah, that works an absolute treat. So I've got the plug in there. I'm gonna put a new trap in. I have got the move on the waist to um, get that in. So I think that's still a bit done. As long as we go get now leaks. Now the camera angles ain't the best but you can see I've tightened that up by hand. I've got movement on the waist bike underneath just to pull that back up into there now and get the nut on. That should be done. Got oh, that is the waist all in. Make sure that's tight because that comes loose. The traps. The cow point. Always seems cow point. Really good quality. Um, so yeah, just a caught in pedestal trap all change. Got to do the um, taps. I'm going to have it there so I don't have five minutes from swimming after that. So the tap, I've just set that up as per the instructions. Just tighten these bolts in. Um, and what I normally do, the bolts that you've got to get on underneath, just match it up before you get under there. That's not an eight. Let's try nine. Yeah, nine. So now I want to go underneath. That's the one that I need. I ain't going to mess about now. So yeah, we're just going to get that Feed through the one flexi, feed through the other. Yes, I did need my friend. There we go. Right. So now we need to get underneath there. I'm just going to just topple forward and get them nuts on. Let's get the wash on first. Stay there. Mill socket, get that on there, get that tight. Now, don't go too crazy because you know that's the key. Make it, it makes it really easy to tighten them up so you can also tighten them and bend the plate. There we go. So, what we've got to do now is connect that on gold like that. So, we've done that side, and the way we did it was we've got to have ISO in. Connected it to the flexi, bit of copper pipe, new coupler, and all I'm going to do now is put that against the pipe. Well, I want it. Mark can cut the pipe. Push that on. Just take this off to show you the um, isolation valve. That's a flat faced one. You see, it's not sharp, it's nice and smooth. It won't cut the rubber ring inside your new tab. So just cut that down, leave it insert, and we just push it down. And that will just go over right the back of there. And connect onto our flexi. Swore's back on. No leaks on the flexi or connections. Can splurt everywhere. Let's do the bath first. There you go, get the air out. There will still be a bit of air in this, but 
from Beers Monk. Okay. I'm just going to test the idea now for <laughs> new leaks. Alright, check the half flap. Sorry about the camera, but best I can do. That's looking good. Full dump. rubbish on now. I can't get it. I can barely get it myself so I don't know about getting a camera in there but we'll check all that for later. Mate. Nice and dry. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. For a couple of repairs to do while it's all drained down and we've got the other way event you see it's all crusted up so we're gonna get that out but also we got called back we done the landlord check on this about three weeks ago and it was leaking from here now, I thought it was a condensate trap, but classroom inspection, <coughs> it's actually leaking from there on the plate and running down and going back through that way. Bit of an odd one spot, so I tightened it up and I said, Look, I've tightened it up, it stopped leaking, but mm -hmm. I might as well get the seals replaced when I come back and I did the radiator. So, we're doing the auto event and the plate seal, so let's get this out first. So, the pin that was through there, you see, it right the way back. And you should be able to just pull that over. It's going to be very stiff because it's crowded on. So get your big grips. Get onto it. And just get it a wee bit. Oh, there we go. See all done out. Always make sure you get the R ring out as well before you put the new one in. Because I have struggled before trying to get the new one in. But the R ring is in there. So I'm going to get it in. Yeah, so the uh, old one out. New one. Got a bit of silicon grease on there. Now I'll just push back into where the old one came out. Nice, easy, straightforward. Nice. And that clip. I can't actually get that clip out without taking the pump out. So, move it out. Push that back. Make sure it's open. Give it a pull. Give it a nice tug. Nice piece of lucky. Yeah, that's in. There you go. So I'm gonna get the plate out now. We've got to turn the incoming mains off, which is just underneath here. So mains have been isolated. You just pull the centre, it dips onto the plate there. Pull that out of the way. And it's four screws. Two there, two there. And that plate will just come out, and we can replace seals behind. Screws out. And I'll just pull off. Try and keep it as level as you can. Try and get out. There you go. So you can see where it's been leaking there. Yeah, let's so pump you down. Let's push water everywhere. And there's the seals. Now, if they've got any longer, that'll just corral that plate. So I'm just going to get these seals out and uh, get them replaced. The tops, your fresh water, the bottom's the heating water. Believe it or not, it's leaking on the fresh water side, normally it's on the heating side. So yeah, let's get all them out. See if we can uh, find a match for them. Sure, oh, my gloves, my hands are filthy now. Then we've got the white ones, then the glow worm ones. Yeah, quiet them for my old job. Nice little set that is just to have all the R rings in there. With the plate seals, I normally put a dollop of silicon grease on the back. So when I put it in, it's a little bit sticky and it'll actually stay on there now when I get the plate in. Sometimes they can just pop out and Fill it back up, you get water go everywhere, but a little bit of silicon grease, it'll just help them stick in there. There you go, plate's all back on, nice and simple. It's easy to get this white way around because if that's upside down, the valence sign, you know, they've got the one way round and the sensor. You can see that little bit that's missing there, which was on there, so it's pushing right against the plate, the temperature sensor. Now, I'm going to test this just on cold water first, so I'm just open that up. The tap is still open in the house. The reason for that is there is a leak on that. I can quickly turn it off and it's going to drain through the tap. That looks absolutely fine. Turn that off and put some drips on the side of the border. So when I first took that out, I forgot to open the tap in the house. That's all leaked at the back here, but I can dry all that out. That's fine. 
So yeah, let's go make sure I've tightened everything on the rug upstairs that we fitted. Um, clouds will drain off and get the system filled up and get some money between there. There you go, it's so all back on, pressure in, trying to keep sweet. Just to heat up the system, check that rug clean, but yeah. Nice, easy repair on the valence, the plate or the auto air vent. I'm just going to see how we finished off upstairs. There we go, that's how we finished off. Nice new radiator. You can instantly feel the heat off that radiator. That's a Type 21. Um, so yeah, just a little adjustment there. But you can't see it from up here. I'm just going to sit on the toilet you can, but that's other than getting the old floor, but that's the best I can do with that. Now you're ready. Tap. All sorted. Nice click away from there. No leaks around the back. That is a pain when you can't take the pedestal out there, but we managed it in the end. Yeah, that's a little job all done. That pedestal, if I could have took that out, would have made that job a lot, lot easier. But I wasn't going to risk trying to pull it out when I know that the basin had just been silicon to the wall. So what you're supposed to do is fix the basin to the wall so it will hold on its own weight with the fixings. The pedestal's there. Just a little bit of extra support and to hide the pipe work. That's it. So if I could have got that pedestal out, it would have been a lot easier. And the basin, waste being silicon in, don't get me started on that. Don't like silicon on basins, you know what I'll use. But to be honest with you, you can do it any way you want. You can use plumbers, mate, silicon, the basin, mate. But if you use silicon, I hope I'm not following you in afterwards because it just makes the job a lot harder. So what do you think? Do you agree with that? Let me know in the comments. Now, 10k giveaway, I know we're nowhere near yet, but I am going to add a prize to it. Just so we can start building it up, it's going to be a big one. It's going to be a Velocity Rogue 9.0 service bag, the same one that you see me use on the videos. Someone's going to win one of them. That's just one prize. So that's 200 pound giveaway already. Hopefully, we can build that up over the next month or so. Yeah, let's get a good giveaway for the 10k. So I say massive thank you again for all your support. Really appreciate it. Catch you on the next one.